Dear Mother Earth, we are grateful for your selflessness, Mama. You strapped us to your back, nurtured us, cradled us in your bosom, and fed us organic, nutritious, and safe food. Enough to boost our health and support our bodies. Gently caring for and holding onto us tightly, never letting go. Despite our disservice, you give us numerous second chances. We've bored deep into your core and with no regard for consequence caused you great pain. By mapping your skin as with hot, scalding tar, we filled your lungs with the pungent smell of burning trees and greenhouse gases. Wildlife dependent on you scamper left and right seeking shelter. The ecosystem collapsing as we continually lose biodiversity. Mother, you aren't as vibrant as you once were, watching the ice in your eyes rapidly liquefying. Falling like rain from above, it trickles down into the cracks in your drought-infested cheeks. You stare into nothingness during this ironic display of extremes caused by global warming. As the quaking earth threatens to erupt beneath your feet, your feet set on a pile of waste, the waste we fail to properly dispose of, one that now haunts the seas you hold so dear. Yet... Oh, Mama, you hold us tight. You cradled us in your bosom, nurtured us, and fed us the finest foods, a third of which we waste. As we celebrate her today, I ask, shall we continue to destroy our home, Earth, or will we save her? In the words of Pope John Paul II, the world will not continue to give up its harvest except with faithful stewardship. We cannot say we love the land and then take steps to destroy it for future generations. So, when life across the world returns to a semblance of normalcy, we cannot continue to act as though it's business as usual, because it's not.